Welcome to Literature Chandras. In this video, we shall st study a story snapshot of a dog. This story is written by James Grover Thurber. It is not just a story, it is an real incident happened in the life of James Grover Thurber. He remembers his favorite dog in this story. Actually, it was in the earlier written as an article later it was considered to be a story by the students before studying the snapshot of a dog we shall study and know the author's life james grover tharba who was born in 1894 in columbus ohio he was a famous american writer he had only one eye another eye was blind earlier before he became a writer he was working as a clerk later he was working as a journalist in 1926 he wrote a number of books his autobiography is my life and hard times he was died in the year 1961 This article snapshot of a dog was taken from the magazine called the New Yorker in this magazine James Grover Tub published this article first time it was now considered to be the story in this syllabus what the story is it is a remembrance of the author he remembers about his favorite dog the dog name is rex so rex is died 25 years ago when the author remembers the dog when the author remembers the dog he came to know that my favorite dog is died 25 years ago and what else he remembers about the dog is the dog is having a good appearance it is known for bravery it is known for ability to swim and it is known for mental ability and more so completely the dog is never forgettable dog because of his talent in swimming in mental ability and the way it appears is beautiful now we will learn the appearance of the dog one day the narrator is coming across some of the old things in his house he came across so many old things in his attic of the house at the time he found a very very old photograph of a dog the dog is we already know that the name of the dog is rex on seeing the dog photo immediately he remembers that this dog is died 25 years ago it is my favorite dog he and his brother named the dog rex it was an american bull terrier its eye looks like clown it looks like a very comedian and sometime it looks like a politician politician having a cigar in his mouth like that this dog looks like the face looks like a politician having a cigar in his mouth also it looks like it's wearing a hat like that the color the head shape looks like it's wearing a hat on its head its body color is white the entire body is white in color except its size its eyes having a black around it and on top of the head it it is wearing a hat like it is not actually wearing hat but the way it is looking as if it is having a hat on its head it had a good and a big muscular body it has a very strong body and a beautifully made it was so happy in doing any heavy and difficult work given by its one james grover tharba What are the extravagant task Rex was so powerful as a wrestler one day Rex carried 10 foot wooden wooden rail which means the longest rail rail you know to hold you may find in a railway platform or when you are 
going up up stats on both sides you will have a rail so that you will get support walk so such a rail it's made up of wood is asked to carry by the owner through the backyard of the house the backyard is only four feet wide it carried it through four feet yard inside the house by dragging the rail held it one end and growled so both side of the rail one side that rex held its bow by its mouth another end it's dragging and it's now entering through the four feet yard of the house one day rex caught a baseball which was thrown it very high to on air by the kids it held the ball like chewing tobacco in its mouth so he after catching the baseball it uh, held in its mouth it looks like it is chewing tobacco in its mouth and now fighting with the dogs how does it fight with the dogs rex never fight it never likes fighting with the dogs but when it's fighting when it is uh, in time of fighting with another dog rex would not go for the dog's throat it never fight never bite the dog's throat as like other dogs only its ear it's biting the ear of the dog only and held the ear for hours with closed eyes after uh, ears of the another dog it will bite and it will not release the ear for hours together when it's biting the ear you will close the eyes for hours one fight was happened for whole day so one fight was always remembered that in those in, in such a fighting the fighting was uh, going for whole day it was on a sunday it uh, held in the east main street columbus the two dogs the rex and another dogs were fighting in the middle of the car in the main road so those two dogs were sitting under the tree under the car the car is standing on the middle of the road in columbus due to which the traffic the there was heavy traffic on the both sides of the road how people try to stop the rex fight the motor man try to stop its fight with the switch road in its jaw so one motor man he was trying to insert the switch road in in its jaw on the mouth someone put a fire on rex tail some residents gave many suggestions to stop the fight between the dogs rex felt only joyful in fighting though some people have tried so many ways to release the dog and to stop the fighting but rex felt so happy in the fighting he did not stop in any way oak street fire department arrived battalion chief also came in order to stop the fight between the dogs now rex fight was stopped the fire department set up long hose water hose with a powerful stream of water and turned on the dogs the rex was finally thrown 100 yards away that is how that the dog was able to stop its fighting by setting the house the her the water hose on its relative suggest after the incident over relatives of the author have suggested to leave the dog alone but they could not so they what the relatives have suggested the owner that you should not take care of the dogs any more but the owner did not uh, leave the dog immediately rex never bit anyone in the years except prowlers it never bit anyone any person the rex has never bitten he killed only cats rex in his life has killed only cats it never killed or chased squirrel rex never chased or killed squirrels rex never barked at any automobiles when any vehicles are passing rex never pass or bark or running behind any vehicles bicycle auto cars rex was good swimmer and a good diver also one midnight in the moonlight rex wandered alone in return he drew a heavy chest of wooden drawers from the trash heap to home one day in the night time it brought a heavy old 
chest of drawers to its home by dragging from the trash heap but it is not in good condition the chest of drawers is not in a good condition so that is why owner of the chest of drawers have thrown into a dustbin but this dog has taken from his dust and drawn unto its house we threw the chest in long distance rex was a good jumper it was able to jump over 8 feet high to our fence rex never gave up trying whatever the height is rex never gave up to attain the feat how rex died now the time for rex death rex held death for one hour rex was able to fight with death for one hour one afternoon wandered home alone slowly it got terrible beating from the owner of a dog his head and body was heavily wounded around his neck so much wounds he licked the, the owners looked for someone as one of the three masters not home for an hour so here rex is going to die very soon before dying rex wants to meet the three owners but the there were only two owners another owner is not available so for the third owner the rex is waiting for one hour from the day de- that de- 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 is also waiting for one hour so for the one hour it fought against death finally the man came finally the third master came rex slowly walked toward him touched his hands and fell down this time rex did not get up what we are understanding that the rex is dead it shows its gratitude to the owners and during this lifetime it was able to show and it was able to obedient to the masters such humanly rex was always remembered by the author james grover thurber through this article thank you for watching